All right, so this is the uh, training session, end user training session for the Polycom IP6000. All right, so the IP6000, this is uh, most likely going to be utilized in a conference room, and we'll just go over the basic functionality uh, of the phone itself. So you have a few options on the face of the phone as far as uh, buttons. So uh, on the left-hand side, you can see where you can pick up a call, uh, also hang the call up utilizing the same button. Uh, the button right below that, uh, the redial option uh, to call any numbers that you have uh, dialed in the past. Uh, you also on the right hand side will have your volume option and then your option below the volume uh, to mute the call if you'd like to. Uh, when you're placing a call, you have a few options. Uh, you can use the pick up and hang up uh, button, uh, which is that big uh, button with the handset displayed on the bottom left hand side. You'll also have the new call soft key. Uh, so basically, if you click on that button, you'll hear the dial tone, and then you'll be able to dial the number to place your call. Once you're on an active call, these are your different options you'll have. So you can either place the call on hold uh, by utilizing that soft key over on the left-hand side, end the call with that middle option, or select the more uh, soft key, which will allow you to either transfer the call or conference uh, more people into that call. Uh, once we get into the menu of the phone itself, you're going to have a few different uh, options here. When you press that menu button, uh, it will take you to a screen that will display uh, a features option. You'll also get status uh, and settings uh, as well. Uh, we'll dive into the features section, but I want to touch upon status. Uh, the status section will be where you'll utilize uh, things to get things like uh, the IP uh, address of the phone itself, so network settings, uh, diagnostic settings for the hard phone. So that next feature all the way at the top, uh, as I mentioned, it's called features. When you click on that button, that is where you'll get status uh, options for the phone and for, for calls taken uh, on the phone. You'll see at the top there, you'll have the do not disturb option. So if you don't want the conference room to receive any calls during a meeting uh, to interrupt a, a meeting that's going on in there, this is where that function will come in, into place. Uh, you'll have the option to forward the calls uh, once you're on a live call. You can go and access uh, directories from the features menu as well. So any corporate directory or local directory that's located on the hard phone. Uh, you'll also have a call list option, which will list uh, any missed calls the phone had uh, has received, any received calls, and any placed calls. So basically a call log there. You'll also be able to access your voicemails uh, or any voicemails that were left on the phone if there were any. And here are the... Uh, the keys on the right hand side and you can utilize the up and down arrows to uh, select a uh, different option there and then you also have a select button. Uh, 